Namaste students, today we are going to find the poles of a bar magnet using a thread. At first I have tied in between the bar magnet and now I will try to suspend it over a particular height. Okay, so now you can see when I have lifted the bar magnet to a particular height you can see one end is pointing towards the north and the other is pointing towards the south okay so I have already directed the north south east west according to my geographical location and that's how the bar magnet is behaving in a suspended mode so here you can say that the end which is pointing towards the north is the north pole of the bar magnet and the end opposite end which is pointing towards the south is the south pole of the magnet so likewise i have i have what happened we have spotted it with some white mark on it the north pole as the white mark and the south pole is kept as red so here you can get the north and south of a bar magnet similarly you can see the compass here so compass, when you see a compass, you can see its head, its head is pointed and its tail is like, just like an arrow, okay. So yes, I have kept the tail uh, towards the south, towards the north and the head towards the south, okay. The head towards the south and tail towards the north. So if I bring the magnet towards it. The north pole towards it you can see that the head is head is steady now if I change the direction of the bar magnet you can see the you can see the needle rotating in the same way and now the tail is attracting towards the south pole similarly if I rotate it back again it is showing the attraction of south pole the head is attracting towards the south pole that means what the head the head of this compass will be what will be what will be south pole and the tail will be north pole understood since it is the head is showing the attraction towards the north pole so that this head will always point towards the south and the tail will always point towards the not so yes students after this i'm going to teach you how you can store the magnet so you can see a magnet have two poles a bar magnet have two poles similarly two bar magnet couldn't be kept at a time without taking care of because that will result in the loss of its property so when two bar magnet are placed together you have to be sure to keep a distance in between it so here the distance is maintained by this cubical uh, block plastic block okay cubical in shape and here yes i have to place the magnet here this way okay you can say that uh, we have placed in such a way that they are horizontal to each other but it has north pole here is the north pole of this magnet here okay and the south pole will be placed in the opposite direction that's the south pole of this magnet and that's the north pole of this magnet okay opposite to each other and plus the two ends are fixed with these two metal this kind of metal this kind of metal are supposed to be kept at two sides so that its properties of magnetic property can be intact okay are kept intact to each other so this is how it has been stored in uh, to keep for longevity in a safe case this way so students that's all for today don't forget to like share, and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye namaste